this clip I'm going to show you how to replace the breather valve on your BMW E46 series. Um, this is a common problem. This code always co comes up, so I'm going to show you the short clip and how I go about doing it. Once you remove the airbox, you have access to the um, fuel tank breather valve or purge control valve, or the fuck you want to call it. Uh, it's easy. Just remove two bolts right here. Undo the clamps. Undo the hose that connects to your MAF sensor and then pull it out and then you have access to it. You can see it right there. Just a few pointers here. This little connection tab right here is a real cunt to get off. Um, there's another plastic ring that goes inside here but there's a lip that prevents this piece from, from coming off. The easiest way is to pull this whole little plastic tab out of the fucking hose here down there. And then you have to kind of pry out on the side to force it out a little bit and then pry open on the opposite side and then wiggle it off and it'll come off easy too. Um, the electrical connection, little pointer to get it off is this wire tab here. You just got to pull that out and then the electrical tab will just come off. And then your other vacuum line, which is right here, is another real cunt to get off as well so you'll be fighting with that. Um, these cars are definitely made with people's small hands though, but doing my best. My mistake, um, in order to get this plastic tab off, I thought this was to hold it in place, but actually if you push it in, then that tab comes out, so, um, I apologize for that, that was my fucking bad, the tips are broken off, so I guess it's just supposed to just hang in there, and then you push it forward, and then it spreads it open and comes off easier. So uh, disregard that previous message and then just go along with this piece here. Push it in, tab comes out. And that's how it looks with the fuel tank breather valve back in or the purge control valve, whatever you want to call it. And now it's just reassembly of the air filter box and we're done. Here we are all back together. This job should take about 20-25 minutes, half hour max. It's really simple. Uh, a lot of people say to remove your power steering um, little canister here, but uh, I managed to do it without doing it. It's a little bit tighter, but uh, the power steering fluid box container can just stay there and then just move the air box. You can get in, reach inside, and there you're done. Now to reset the engine code and hopefully all is well. There we go, clear. Let it do its thing. Perfect. So now I'm going to turn the car off. Unplug my scanner. Start my car, see if the engine light stays off now. Yes. Finally, after months of having it, it stayed off. Um, the scanner I used, it's a peak scanner, you get off eBay, it's an R5 peak scanner, it's uh, especially designed for Beamer cars, it works really good, and uh, hopefully that solved my problem of having the engine light come on all the time, if not I just wasted 300 bucks throwing parts at it, so we'll see what happens.